Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and if you are anything into 3D printing, machining or just automation, you know what it is. It is the NEMA 17 stepper motor. What's the stepper motor? Well, it's the electric motor. However, comparing to other kinds of the electric motors, when you just apply the voltage to the coils, and usually this one has four pins and two sets of coils, it will not start to rotate, it will only rotate one step. How much is one step? Depends on the motor. There are 100 steps per revolution, 200 steps per revolution, even 400 steps per revolution and don't even get me started about the micro-stepping possibilities of those things. Great thing if you want to precisely rotate the shaft, precisely rotate something, so something is in the precise position whenever you want it. Because this thing, if you demand 10 steps from it, it will always move the 10 steps, unless of course it stalls and lose the position. However, however, this is the NEMA 17 and the NEMA 17, well, for the hobby grade is usually kind of bigish, for the industrial standards is kind of smallish, but if you want something simpler, why not something simpler? You can have half size NEMA 17, right? half of the size, probably half of the torque. If you even want to go smaller, how about NEMA 8, which will work almost exactly the same, although of course it will have much less of the torque. Now, the problem with steppers is that steppers without special electronics are almost useless. To drive the stepper you need something like that or something like that. Those things are called the stepper driver, stepper motor drivers, aka step sticks. It's a usually all-in-one electronic device, electronic circuit that is designed to drive the motor. It takes care about which coil should be polarized, which coil should be energized, when and what, and it will do whatever you want this thing to do. For example, you will tell this thing to move 10 steps right, and it will move 10 steps right. However, however, this is just a driver and the driver without the information of what the driver should do with the stepper motor is almost useless. This is why to drive those things you need some kind of the microcontroller, for example Arduino, but it really can be anything that has at least two output pins, because the interface, the standard interface on the stepper drivers is extremely simple. In the most basic configuration is only two pins. One pin is the step pin. Every time the value on the step pin changes from low to high, then the stepper driver will demand one step from the motor or one micro step, but this is irrelevant at the moment. Second pin will be the direction to tell the driver should it be rotating the shaft of the motor right or left. And that's all. Nothing really super fancy. In a few minutes, well, in a few seconds probably, I will show you the example of the Arduino code running the ESP32 microcontroller that is really low level, super simple example of how to use those kind of the step stick stepper motor drivers and the stepper motors to rotate them whichever direction you want with whichever speed you want. But for that, let's change the camera. The code you see on the screen is everything that's required to rotate a stepper motor with a driver, left or right, with the speed in steps per second. Let's have a quick walk through through the code to understand how it's working. First section is of course the definition of the pins. I'm using five of the pins on the ESP32 but it will work with basically any Arduino. First three are the definitions of the enable pin of the step driver which has to be in this case pulled low for the stepper driver to even work. The direction pin which will tell the driver should we rotate left or right and step pin which every time we will change from low to high, 
the motor will make one step and of course two buttons that we will use to drive this thing. And then finally we have a variable that stores the requested steps per second and the current position we are not really using in this enable. In the setup let's put buttons into input pull-ups because the buttons are connected to the ground and we just don't want to mess with any other external pull-ups and let's define all the pins to which we connected our stepper drivers as the outputs and pull the enable pin low so the driver would be operational. And finally a section, then when the button number one is pressed so it reads low, remember we are working in the input pull-up mode with the button's other pin connected to ground, we will request 5000 steps per second in one direction and if the second button will be enabled we will require minus 5000 steps per second and finally if none of the steps if none of the buttons is pressed we request zero rotation speed and then finally no requested speed we pull the step too low because nothing is finally and in the opposite the opposite situation when we request any kind of the speed uh, there is a simple timing procedure that uh, every time the time counter meets the requested time we change the value on the output pin from low to high and the low high to low, keep the requested high position for the certain amount of the time in the micros, in our case 30 microseconds, and then wait for another cycle defined by the requested steps per second. So for example, 1000 steps per second, we means that we do the change of the state of the pin every one millisecond and finally depending on the speed positive or negative we pull the direction pin low or high and write the current state to the to the pin and this works like that And finally, the example code that you saw on the screen just before is available on the GitHub. The link is in the description. You can go there, see how I implemented this thing. There are of course ready-made libraries that can handle this or that or any other stepper driver. However, I thought it's a nice, a good idea to show you on the low level how this thing is really working. Bear in mind, some of the step stick controllers have the possibility not only to use this basic interface when you have to pull one of the legs of the driver low or high, but also can have a serial interface where basically they do exactly what you tell them, but with serial port connection. This simplifies some of the things but also make other things slightly more complicated. And finally the micro stepping. Hardware of the motor allows you to make one step as big as the design. If for example you have 200 steps per revolution then one step is always 1.8 degrees. However modern drivers have something called the micro stepping. What you get? Smaller steps. If you have 200 steps per revolution motors with 8 micro steps version then one step is no longer 1.8 degrees it's however 1.8 divided by 8 and some of the drivers like for example the TMC 2209 offers you 1 to 256 micro stepping so you really get pretty much of the amazing resolution of the position of the shaft of course there is a price to pay you lose some of the torque the energy consumption of the motor can be bigger but you really do have super precise things and that's all for today thank you very much for watching until the next one bye bye